the warm up down on our hands and knees, hands out in front, and we're just going to shift back and forth. Just kind of get those hips warmed up, head and chest extended, nice and long. And if you join us at any time throughout this, just kind of come in and just do some either some knees rocking, do some hinges, do some um, cross crawls. Just get the body ready to move. So it's not just that you are moving, it's that you're getting ready to move. Nice and long. Do four more, three, two, and last one. Let's do a plank to pike. Back and forth. Lift your hips up nice and long and come forward. You've got five, four, three. Last two and last one. Sink way back. Walk your feet up to your hands. Hinge forward, head down, chin in and begin to roll yourself all the way back up. Let's start with just some cross crawls. Good evening, if you're just joining us, grab your kettlebells, maybe a fan, like a fan, you know, like someone to cheer you on, or a floor fan, either way. Five more, four, three, two, and last one, just hinge back and come forward. Think about initiating the movement in your hips. You've got 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three more. Press back into those hips. Feel that hinge happening. And last one, push back. Walk your hands down onto the ground. Widen your feet out. Sink your hips down into a squat and let's rock the hips back and forth. Keep the chest up as best you can. Roll and open. And we're gonna stop on that back leg, open that front, look up, reach up, and then look down. Let's go back and forth again. Two more, last one, and again, sink back, and then take one arm up. So again, you're allowing for that leg to drop back and so you can reach up away and then back down. Sink back into those hips as best you can and let's come all the way back up. One more time, cross crawl. You've got four, three, two, and done. So grab a lighter kettlebell or dumbbell so if you, if you don't have a kettlebell, you could swing sort of a dumbbell. You can hold the dumbbell from its end to end, kind of underneath, kind of hook your hands, and you can swing that dumbbell up. Now, the only issue with this really is that it's not swinging. You're kind of controlling the lift of it, and so it can get a little bit out of control, or you're not really... Um, finding that action to the body, like at a kettlebell swing. So we're gonna start with some basic moves, just a regular kettlebell swing. We'll go into a squat, and then we're gonna go into um, an overhead press, simple. Okay, so regular kettlebell two-handed swing. We've got five just to start, four, three, two, and last one. Clean it up, squat down for five, press, four, three, two, and last one. Good, and then again the overhead press. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, let's do it again. Start with that kettlebell on the ground. You've got four more rounds of this. Five, three, two, and last one. Clean it up. Come into that squat, two, three, four, and five. From here, press straight up, five, four, three, two, last one. And again, bring that kettlebell to the ground, swing that kettlebell, two, three, four, 
five, clean it up, five, four, three, two, last one, down, back up, right into the overhead press, two, three, four, and five. And here's five now, five, four, three, two, and clean it up, press up, whoops, <laughs> clean it up and let's squat, five, four, three, two, and last one, right into the chest press, two, overhead press, three, four, and five. So this is kettlebell and core. So we're gonna get on the ground right now. Just gonna hold a plank. So we're gonna take that plank on the hands. We'll hold for 10 seconds. We're gonna do 10 plank to pikes and then hold for another 10 seconds. So hands on the ground, regular plank, hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Plank to pike. One, two, pause, three, four, five, five more, four, three, two, and last one, let's hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. That's round one. Now we're gonna do um, single hand swings. We're gonna do a step back, do a single arm clean, kind of, just across the body catch. And then we're gonna do a single arm overhead press. So again, if you need to switch out for a lighter dumbbell or kettlebell, it doesn't have to be so repeated. Just give yourself an opportunity to get different equipment if you need to. Okie doke. Let's start again. Single hand swings, five by five. Head is up, chest is up, weight is back. You've got five in this hand. Four, three, two, and switch. If you can switch on the swing, do so. Three, four, five. Now, bring it into the hand. You're gonna step back and bring it up to the shoulder of your moving leg. Swing back come up, swing back, up, this is four, and five, switch it to the other side, step back, <laughs> you're going to swing back, and step up, swing back, step up, two, and three, four, and five, all the way up, reset it for an overhead press for five, four, three, two, and again, last one there, switch it to the other side. Chest is up, press up five, I'll go on my knee, four, three, two, and last one. So if you do make a change like that, down to your knee, it's a great way to improve um, difficulty as well as create more connection into the core. So let's come back up, five swings, five kind of outside suitcase cleans, and then five overhead presses. Let's go in three, two, and go. Five swings, one, two, three, four, five, whoops, forgot to make the switch, five, four, three, two, and last one. You're gonna rack it slightly, and you're gonna swing it back and come up. So I'm taking it back on my right side, stepping back on my left side. Four, three, two, and last one on this side, clean it over to the other side. You're gonna step back, bring it up. This is two, 
three, four, one more, five. Nice. You can place it on that arm. Again, you can get down to a kneeling or stay standing. Press up five, four, three, two, last one, all the way up and back down. I'm just gonna stay down. Body nice and tall, chest is lifted. Five, four, three, two, last one, press up and then back down. All right, round three here. So again, single hand swings, step back, carry almost like you're swinging a suitcase, kind of do a cross body clean, and then overhead presses. I'm gonna start with my other hand this time, pull back, five, four, three, two, switching in the air, five, four, three, two, and done. Bring it up to my side, body's nice and tall, swing it back, kick it to the hand, press, pull it up, three, four, five, drive through that front leg. Let's switch sides, step back, one, two, three, four, one more, five, we're keeping it in that hand, I'm gonna switch it back to my first side, and again, I'm gonna kneel. Press up, five, four, three, two, last one, all the way up, all the way down. Switch sides, whoop. Curl that back toe, press, two, Three, pull the weight towards the body. Four, and five. Two more. Starting with my left hand again. We'll start in five seconds. Three, two, and swing back. Two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and last one. Stepping back, kick back, one, pause, two, pause, three, four, and five. Take it around, Whew, isn't that tricky? To the other side, one, two, three, four, one more, five, and up. Let's see if I can do a bottoms up. Press up for five. So you can see it, so there's no trickery here. Four, three, two, and last one, and then down. So bottoms up kettlebell is a much more difficult Stabilize the shoulder, more core, grip strength a bit. Again, let's see how this side does. One, two, three, four, one more, five. Great job, guys. Hopefully you jumped in on some of that leveling up. We got one more round here. Starting again in three, two, and go. Single swing, one, two, three, four. Switch on the swing, one, two, three, four, and five. Starting in on, step back with the left leg here. Swing back, kick it up, swing back, kick it up, back, and up, four, and five, all the way up. Let's take you to the second side. Swing back, kick it up, back, and up. Three, four, one more, five. So we'll just go regular old school. Press up five, 
four, three, two, and last one. Other side, five, four, three, two, and last one. I'm gonna go out of screen for just a second. To get my water. Okay, down on the ground again. Let's set up for those planks. Remember, it's 10, 10 planks, then 10 planked pikes, followed by 10 planks again. We're gonna do that twice this time. Starting again in three, two, and go. Plank for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Push back to the plank to pike. One, two, three, four, and five. Five more, and four, three, two. Last one, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. Pause. Let's do the second set on the forearms. The key here is really keeping those shoulders pulling open. So you're not trying to shrug. You don't slack into the lower back. Pull those arms open as if you have a band on your hand that you're pulling apart. Let's go for it. In three, two, and hold plank. Hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, push to a push-up position, and plank to pike. Three, five more, and four, three, two, Last one, hold the plank for 10, oops, down, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. All right, so our last set of kettlebell work, we're gonna do a traditional 10 reps, and we're gonna wait 15 seconds in between each set. So you've got 10 on, 15 seconds off, should take you a total of 30 seconds, roughly if you do the math, and then if you don't do the math, it can still take you about 30 seconds per set. So 10 swings, get a little bit heavier kettlebell. We'll do 10 swings, rest 15 seconds, and then go again. Let's start in three, two, and go. 10 seconds, or 10 swings, two, three, four, Five, five, four, three, two, and down. Good. I'll set my timer. So you got 15 seconds. You can do just about anything you want. Rotate around, roll the shoulders, roll the neck, look from right to left, because we start in three, two, this is number two, 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 three, four, five, five, four, tighten it up, two, and done. Again, let's wait 15 seconds. We're nice and tight on the money. Good, brings up the cardiovascular just a tiny bit. It's not the perfect cardiovascular, long extended really is more an aerobic threshold. This gets us close in three, two and go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Nice round three. Good job guys. We're starting again in three, two, and go. 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. All the way to the ground. We're hitting on number five next. Again, in five, four, three, two, and go. 10, nine, think of the length of your whole body as you stand up, contract the glutes, the core, the, the pressing into the ground. Three, two, and done. I hope I did 10 with all that chatting. <laughs> Whew. Five seconds. Four, three, two. This is number six. Two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two. Last one. Up. Good. We got seven through ten. So again, if you're doing hinges, you can just take a kettlebell and go down through the center. You can do a single leg hinge as an option as well. So take your time to choose. Let's start in five seconds, four, three, two, here's seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Get long, last two, and last one. Three more rounds, 100 swings. Awesome way to work out. You can do 100 swings a day, core, shoulders, back, glutes, body will start showing up a little bit better too. Starting again in five seconds, four, three, two, eight here, seven, six, nope, five, four, I'll have two more to do at the end, three, two, we got two more because I started at eight and here's ten. Where's Christine? Well, she didn't count anyway. I mean, other people count. She just had the sticks. All right, starting again in five seconds. We've got two more sets. And then we're going to get on the floor and do a little bit more core. In three, two, here's nine. Let's start with ten, though. Nine, eight, seven, six, tall, breathing, lengthened, last two, and last one. So for this 10th one, I'm going to go 1 to 10. We'll see if I screw this up in the next 5 seconds. But we're going to go 1 to 10. And that way we know we've done our 100 total swings. Plus those single swings and those two hand swings in the beginning. Whew, let's start in 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, and let's start with our 1. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job, guys. Little virtual high five. <laughs> Very well done. Nice. So let's get a little sip. I'll get back on the floor. We're going to do three sets of that core. All right, on the floor. Let's start on the forearms this time. We'll start in eight seconds, just to make it easier. Let's go in three, two, and come on the floor in that forearm plank. Knees can be up or down, you choose. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Push to a push up position if you can, and plank to pike, one. Two, three, four, five more, five, four, three, last two. Here's the hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and again, ten plank to pikes. Lift those hips up. Drop into those heels, pull yourself forward and back. Pull up 
into the belly. Here's five, four, three, last two, last one. Back into those forearms. Last round here, guys. Hold those forearms for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last plank to fight. All the way up. Press back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Bring those hips up. Five. Breathing. Three. Last two. Last one. Nice and long. Bend your knees. Sit back into a child's pose. Oh, nice and easy. Turn those palms up. Get the shoulders open. Couple deep breaths. Come on to your forearms. Nod the head. Work in the extension of the back line of the body. Nod the head, look up. Nod the head, look up the other way. Down, look up, down, look up. Come up to your hands, look over your right shoulder, over your left shoulder. <sighs> Feel that sweat running into the eyes. It's just delightful. Maybe I need more magnesium. I don't have a lot of saltiness in my sweat. Two more. <laughs> and last one. Good. Body nice and tall. Chest is lifted. Bring your feet all the way out in front again. Bring my little friend out of the way here. <sighs> Open. Feel that length in your back. Mm. And then let's swing. The left leg back, hinge forward across the right. Exhale. And then come back up, swing around. Make sure that left leg is out in front. Get tall first. Remember, you're not going down onto it by, by rounding. It's up and around and over. And then come back up. And then both legs together. And we'll drop both those knees to the left and to the right. Now, very often I go with my knees pretty wide so I can get a nice range of motion. But it's okay to kind of keep them together. It seems a little silly, but it is just a different way to do it. You could have one leg and just come up and just go one direction. You could do the other direction, just one way, one way, or oh, the other. I'm going to find you. No, again my day job. One more time and then come all the way up. Ah, and we're done guys. Nicely done. So thank you so much for joining us again today. Thanks for allowing me to come into your homes. Thanks for joining me on my journey here through this whole process as well. And I sure do hope to see you again. If you're just tuning in or just tuning out, have a great night. I'll see you later.